Okay, guys, welcome back. Okay, uh, we're gonna with the malaria data set from Kegel, we're only gonna use the validation folder because the training folder had so many images, I didn't want it to take forever and I didn't need it. Okay, so we're gonna take the validation folder, do a validation split of 25 to create your validation set. Batch size equals 48 for the training. Target size, target size. Batch size 32 for the validation. Subset validation, subset training. Horizontal flip equals true, obviously, for data augmentation. Okay, so dense one, dense one at the end. Only thing different is a convolution of 16 after the 32 with a stride of one for the max pool, kernel and pool size two and two. The reason why is the dimensionality of the photos. Oh, of course, your input shape is the same as your target shape. Look at the shape of the summary. And it did well across the board. I could have left it running a little longer, but it didn't need to get to 100 and 100 and 10 and 0. It performed well enough. There's your plots. A little noise, but... Not bad. Remember, you can always save it as an H5 file and do a load model function later. Okay. So here's the parasitized image I used from the training folder, which is a image it was not trained on for the testing. These are PNG photos. Okay. So 100% chance infected with malaria. Remember, most of the time, um, zero is for data sets. It's usually zero is, you know, benign or not infected, whatever. And then one is. Only this data set is different. You got to look at the data set. Okay. Look at this one parasitized. Infected. And then look at this one. 1.24% chance infected. 98.70% not infected. But this one was uninfected. Do you guys see the difference? You guys see it? You guys see this? This is how it looks under a microscope. Remember, that's why we added that extra convolution. Remember, the 16? It was necessary. Trust me, if you didn't add it, it wouldn't be pretty. You're, not only would your validation loss go up, validation accuracy wouldn't get past 50%, but your training accuracy would just stop at 80%. Training loss would stop going down at 30. It would just be a disaster across the board. So, remember, add that extra 16. And remember to use the validation set so you're not using too many pictures to take too long. Because look, it only takes 36 seconds each epoch. If you do what I did. Of course, you can add more epochs or improve it if you want, but it's up to you. Okay, thank you guys. Stay tuned for next video.